from San Francisco World Spirits Competition. I'm speaking today with Rosa Vodka. Uh, this is their first interview online, so I have a feeling it might be a little bit challenging to get them on, but uh, Rosa Vodka. Hi. 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 How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I thought that was going to take a lot longer than it did. Yeah, we're right here. <laughs> awesome. Well, well, we Amanda, plan very it. nice to meet you. Very nice meeting you as well. And thank you for inviting us. Of course. So you had a, a huge win this year. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite surprising. Yeah, we were. We got that email first thing in the morning and it just it made our day. Yeah. <laughs> Double gold. So class. Yeah. So tell me, so tell us a little bit about the product and, and how the company started. Um, so essentially we've, uh, we, we've always wanted to create something with the Bulgarian rose. Um, it's part of my heritage. Um, and, uh, you know, we started talking, brainstorming, researching. So we are fans of vodka. We enjoy good vodka. Um, so we decided to take on a journey to create something that not only we would enjoy ourselves, but that we can share it with, um, with the other, with others. Um, so, you know, it took us what, a couple of years. Um, yeah. and we found the perfect recipe blend. Um, and we came up with a uh, rose of vodka. <laughs> yeah. Created it. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, do you know if you are the only vodka on the market that uses rose? The only one that's purely just rose. Yeah. Um, we, we wanted to create something that wasn't overpowering and was literally uh, respected the vodka drinker. So it's like mm -hmm. we didn't want to say, <clears throat> look, let's recreate your drink. We wanted to have something that enhances it and gives it a distinctive sort of uh, change. Not, not uh, So you don't lose the essence of your drink and you can sip it. And we wanted to have start with a great a uh, great body of a vodka that also have something that's different. We, we, just, we were drinking uh, vodka sodas and at a certain point it's like, well, we could do something more and be distinctive. There's nothing else on the market uh, at 80 proof. Uh, there's other ones, but you know, uh, this one is the only one that I think uh, has that, uh, that doesn't like change the complexity of drinks. Right. You can drink it straight, neat. You know, if, if, if you're a vodka fan, you love your vodka and if you can, Take it neat. <laughs> we recommend it on or ice. Yeah, it's it's very smooth. And so, where where's the inspiration from? When, if you you wanted to make a drink, a vodka drink, but how did you come up with rose? It's your little thing. Oh. Um, well, I when I moved to this country about 21 years ago now, <laughs> <laughs> I I brought with me this little. Um, it's like this traditional Bulgarian vial. Um, you know, inside there is um, the rose oil. So I held on to, to it all these years with me. Um, and I just, it was always my goal to make something with it. Um, so, you know, here we are. It's, um, <laughs> it took some time. <laughs> and but, what's the difference between a Bulgarian rose and I, I, I'm not a horticulturist, so I don't really know uh, about, about the difference in roses, but what makes a Bulgarian rose different in flavor profile? Well, it's it's a Demesina rose. It's actually it's a hybrid rose, uh, but Demesina roses they can be grown anywhere as long as the climate is right. But the reason why we went with Bulgarian is because I'm Bulgarian and I wanted to bring that into the product mm -hmm. to you know <clears throat> honor it, tribute to Bulgaria. Well, and also it's it's a, it's organic. It's uh... It's a very, uh, it's not like harvested all times a year. It's only four, six weeks yeah. of the year. Mm -hmm. So they focus on making sure that the, 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 the rose is a, a high quality. And so we start with that. And our, our vodka has, you know, three things, rose, water, and corn. it's 100% corn um, uh, alcohol. And do you guys produce it yourselves or where are you based? I think you're based in Los Angeles. Is that right? Yes. Our corporate office is in Los Angeles. The distillery is in Oregon. And we chose that because the water yeah. is so good in Oregon. Uh, uh, we we use a uh, filtration system that's three uh, for three days through charcoal and limestone. limestone, so our pH is balanced. It's it so it starts at a good place. It starts clear, crisp, 
and we want again want to keep something that was distinctive and also has a a fresh uh, refreshing feel to it as well so we we wanted to be sure we sourced our our water that's that's the the main thing and were you guys always in the spirits world or is this like a new uh venture no. It's a new venture for us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's very cool. What I've noticed is there's a lot of, of our winners this year that, that you know, decided to make a hobby into a, a, a real company. And a lot of them have been creating amazing things. Yeah. Yeah. Um, much like your company. If you, if you would have asked us uh, two, three years ago, we would, we would tell you what. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, we, we also, we, you know, we have, uh, you know, it's not just going blindly. I mean, obviously we've, yeah. <clears throat> we have a lot of respect for the industry. So we felt like we have something here. Uh, we start launched in September last year, 2020, you know, middle sure. of the pandemic. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> business. yeah so, <laughs> so literally we're like, okay, behind the eight ball. But it, the good thing is that we can pace ourselves. We're not like forced into this sort of, it's a huge market. Uh, we know we have something special. So we think that, you know, when people taste it, sample it and, and use it. Uh, we have we customers forever. Uh, we, we have a lot of retention. I mean, some people don't like botanicals, but the, we are finding really great success with it. And we're just new. So we're, we're like, uh, thrilled and honored to be, uh, you know, recognized, especially in this festival, because it's, it's, a it's a, it's a great honor knowing how, how, how many entrants there were, uh, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel, we just have a, a, a new way of uh, looking at vodka. And we're also that uh, gin drinkers, that botanical essence, they're enjoying vodka. We've converted a couple of hardcore gin drinkers. Um, and, and even yeah. if you have uh, Rosa with tonic, it's like having gin and tonic. Yeah. Um, it gives that taste for them. And so what is the plan for the company? Are you expanding outside of California for distribution? Um, and how has the medal of best in class helped get you guys noticed? Well, that's 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 the one thing that we focused on is, you know, because of COVID, we, we literally had to, you know, we couldn't, in, in California, we can't go into these restaurants or bars. We can't go, all we could focus on is getting to liquor stores, trying to do samples, send out the, the bottle where we can. We're obviously only, only licensed in California at this time, but we are talking with expansions uh, into other states. Uh, we're, we're talking with distribution companies right now. We're just uh, looking at all of our options, but that is, you know, we're, we're at a point where it's like, it's a good problem to have so much interest. And, you know, within six, eight, eight nine months, we've, you know, gotten eight, nine medals, you know, which is great. Um, so yeah, it's just trying to find the people that, that are in the same mindset we are as uh, dedicated to quality, uh, dedicated to uh, good tasting vodka and, keeping keeping the momentum going so it's right now it's just we're, we're trying to find the right friends of the of the, of the brand great so uh let me ask you what would be a great rosa vodka cocktail that you guys would enjoy okay, you could start with yours <laughs> so um i i I'm, i love grapefruit so fresh squeezed grapefruit um and a spritz of um or a little bit of soda water for that fizz is perfect um and that and then just on the rocks i do those two quite often yeah and for me I, I i like dirty martinis and you would think that it'd be a conflict but it was a surprise to us when we we just just use rosa <clears throat> as a as the the, the in the uh, dirty martini it opened up the the olive and made it uh, a wholly a wholly different drink so that's my favorite and then also sipping it too it's uh it's it and it's still at the 54 calories per ounce. So it's very light. Uh, so we, and, and we're discovering it too. We really, there's so many other drinks that we're, we're trying to figure out what we're, gonna, you know, what, what bartender we want to go to mixologist to find <clears throat> what really will be the right thing for this. But I, I, I'm finding it's like, it's like enhancing the drink. It's not changing it. So if you'd like, um, like uh, vodka sodas, uh, it, it, it's like a, it's like a little bit of a, seasoning that's about it it doesn't change it it doesn't it just makes it something different which is great the the, the best uh cocktails or recipes are the simple ones using just um fresh ingredients um i would have just that um it just you know like you said you would add the uh, uh, the olives and the rosa you olives and roses don't work together but actually it really enhances it 
and it's you know it gives you like a little hit of the rose at, after you take the sip. We got a great it's, compliment when when someone says, "Don't waste it in a Bloody Mary." <laughs> I said, "Okay, that's a good one." You know, it's like it's it stands alone. So I think that that's kind of it's a uh, best tasting spirit. Said it was uh, a true original, which I thought was a great compliment. You know, very good. And what would be a great meal to pair with? with rosa vodka, uh, whether it's neat or in a cocktail? Wow. I we have know. never gotten that question. So we I have know. to, I th you know, I, if you, it's, if you, it's we, funny you ask us because we, any meal we have, we always have it with vodka. We don't, we don't drink anything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a wine drinker. I have an allergic reaction to wine in general from the sulfides. So that's partly why I drink vodkas and in, in clear, uh, clear liquors is because that it, 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 kind of by default I, I went there but it's it's uh you know vodka is it's kind of a basic sort of drink that will work with anything so uh to be fair we don't really have an answer to that question everything how about everything sushi okay okay sushi. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds good <laughs> okay well thank you guys so much and congratulations on your amazing honor of winning best in class for flavored vodka you had steep competition but uh you're a brand new company and you won. And that's, that's what our competition is all about is, is uh, highlighting people that have a passion and go out and create something exceptional. So congratulations. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you for so the much. opportunity. We're, we're, yeah, we're thrilled and honored. So it's, it's a great, a great achievement for us. And thank you for letting us. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> you all too. Bye-bye. Right.